What's up YouTube? Different setup for me today, but we have a fun video. I'm gonna show you guys what my press on nail collection looks like. So you guys know that I got into press on nails about two and a half, three months ago, and I have fallen in love. They're so much fun and they are so inexpensive. You don't need a collection like mine, obviously, to have a, you know, a pretty good collection to begin with. Anywhere from one to what, five boxes will give you the variation that you're looking for. And then depending on what your day-to-day -day looks like, you can have so much fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my collection looks like, and then um, I'll be back. Before we completely jump in, I wanted to take a quick minute to say thanks to those who entered my giveaway. And I'm gonna leave the names of the winners just on the screen or in the description box or and or. I'll do both probably. <laughs> so nonetheless, I just wanna say thank you so much for entering. Thank y'all for watching that video. It got some pretty good traction. And listen guys, do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and click the notification bell so that you can be alerted when I upload new videos. So, all right, guys, so I'm gonna show you my collection. This is where I keep it. This is one of those IKEA um, Alex drawers, I believe they're called, but this is the wide one. Um, six drawers is what's in here. So, this is uh, what I keep my nail stash in. Now, of course, this entire thing is not full of nails, just the drawer. Uh, when I say just a drawer, that's still quite a bit of product, but I just wanted to make that clear. This actually houses quite a bit of things. Um, we actually like to keep like my husband's cufflinks and stuff like that are in here. Uh, he's got scarves in here. And so it's just a way to keep the closet clean and neat um, and ties and things like that are here. So these two belong to him. And this third one is where uh, the nails begin. This only thing that used to be in this drawer was my sunglasses. So I keep them over here still and I allow for the drawer uh, to be occupied by nails now. So <laughs> this is where they live quite a bit, especially considering that my stash started about two to three months ago. So I think you guys might remember that haul video. The nails ended up being too small gave them to my girls and then I bought myself a couple more boxes and a couple boxes turned into these because once I wore them I fell in love with the fact that I could do it at home and get a beautiful salon type finish without spending the 50 to 60 sometimes even a hundred dollars or more on a set of nails with this much detail in them so we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to show you what I have um in each of these uh boxes i'm not gonna of course open the boxes or anything we're just gonna look at uh what is in my stash so let's do that okay guys so um i'm gonna show you guys we're gonna just go ahead and start over here from left and work our way to the right um so i'm just gonna point out like if the if it has a name on the box and i'm gonna point out like where i got them from if i can remember which i should be able to remember most of these so um we'll just go ahead and start with these from kiss Kiss is a pretty popular brand. Um, these I got from Target. These are a gel-like finish. Like this one here would be the gel finish. And then this is a matte. And let me see if it has a name. Yep, right here. It's Rush Hour. So that's the actual name of the style. And this is a medium length. So I like these because, um, you know, like the ones I have on are long. And, um, you know, I can type in these. I type quite a bit for work and I can type in these, but um, not something that I would normally wear to length to work in the office this length. I actually would cut this down quite a bit uh, or file them to uh, more of a shape like this to where the, the length would be roughly about this long. So, But we'll put those up there when we're done with them. Uh, next up, look at the Ardell Nail Addict. I actually really like this brand. Like... Ardell's uh, Nail Attic line. They do a good job. These are so pretty. Like, look at that. So, so pretty. Like, ooh, cannot wait to wear those. It's going to be great for the fall uh, and winter months. And this is called Chrome Pink Foil. Uh, let's see. Here goes another one from Ardell. This is the Nail Addict Premium. Uh, so it's a, I don't know, guys. I just freaking love these. These, I cannot wait to wear them. Look at the pink in there. They're even more like a book. They're even more so like a peach, but it says pink, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, it's black stud 
and pink ombre is the name these are so pretty love it and it's also that medium um length so it won't be too too long love them again from kiss as you can see got lots from kiss um and well you will see because this is only the second box from them but this is i like their masterpiece line the masterpiece line has a really good quality uh so here you go see if we can find a name for these not seeing a name guys but that's the number in the event that you really like these and you want to look for them there goes that i think these came from target I'm going to just go down here because here goes another one from Ardell. And this is um, so gorgeous. Look at this green. I love green. Green's my favorite color. So when I saw these, I was like, sign me up. And this one's called Green Glitter Chrome. So gorgeous. Uh, let's point out the ones here in the front. This is from um, Nail Nina. I actually got these from Amazon. Uh, I just love the green. It's a pretty, pretty green. Something I would wear... Uh, I haven't worn anything from the, I placed an order for several, but I haven't worn them yet. So I don't know how they wear. I don't know what the quality is like, but this is what the uh, style looks like, which is pretty standard for me. It's a medium length. Uh, I like it. Very pretty. I probably would put a coat on this one, give it a little bit of shine, but I like it. This one I'm not really in love with. I got this from, it looks so different online. It didn't look as... Ugh, I don't know. I just don't like this one. I actually might paint over this uh, in a different color. We'll see. But this one I'm not super excited about. It's that same brand, Nail Nina, that I got from Amazon. They were pretty inexpensive. Um, but yeah, disappointed in that one. I got this from Claire's. And I've worn this set already. And it was so fun. Very, very pretty. Very fun colors to wear for like the spring and the summertime. I just thought these were gorgeous. Um, these were very well priced they were roughly about they're roughly about nine dollars but when you buy them on sale which is what i did i got like five sets for 30 bucks so that's really good they consider this a stiletto um not heel a stiletto shape but um it's not quite stiletto to me i think this is to me more oval but nonetheless very pretty so if you just go to claris.com and look up like um press on nails you'd be able to find them pretty easily and these are gorgeous. I haven't worn them yet. These are clear with the floral detailing. I can't wait. I thought these would be great for... This is something I could actually wear to work in the office. I wouldn't have to... I wouldn't feel like I need to cut them down or anything. So these are great. Here's another really pretty set from Claire's. Look at these. Also fun for the springtime. Um, Mother's Day... Easter, you know, I feel like that's something you'd see people kind of gravitating towards, even though I'd wear this any time of year, but I just think they're really pretty. All right, let's look at these from Impress. These are also a good brand. I like Impress. They make good quality press-ons. I did get these from Target, I'm pretty sure. I like the box like this because they're so compact. So like some of these other ones take up a good amount of space, as you see, but these don't. These are gorgeous. I love the style and I really love the colors. That veining and marble look gets me every time. That beautiful lavender, it's just so pretty. So yeah, I would wear this any time of year as well, but this is definitely going to be uh, something that leans more uh, spring. Speaking of spring, here goes another one from Kiss. These are long. Um, they're the Gel Fantasy, which is very popular for Kiss. That's the identifier up there. So if you like this, that's going to be kind of like the number that you might be able to put in to find them easier. But I think I ended up pick, pick, I think I ended up picking these up from Target. Um, love these. These are the gel look. So everything in here should be gel, no mats. Love this. I would wear this totally all, you know, like all year round. I would wear this to work because it's softer. I would just cut them down a little bit. Another one from Kiss, the Gel Fantasy line again. It goes that unique identifier up top. And these are also uh, long. I love the detailing. I love the um, rhinestones on them and the glitter. These are just so pretty. Um, I ha have, I yeah, I wore these. I've worn these before. These are so beautiful. I got so many compliments when I wore them. I think I wore them right before my birthday. Yep, that like two weeks prior. So yeah. 
So these are actually the ones that I'm currently wearing. These are uh, limited edition because they are for Halloween. So that's what they look like on the hand, guys. These are so pretty. So, so pretty. Love them so much. They are matte. The gray is a matte gray. Um, and then I love the marble. Guys, these are so pretty. Yeah. So having tons of fun with these. And check out the fun part about these marble ones. They glow in the dark. Yep, you heard me right. Love them. So cute. They're, some of them have crosses on them. I didn't go for that one. I just went for the straight up marble look, but these are super cute. I would totally wear this even beyond Halloween. So yeah, but yeah, see, glow in the dark. They're super cute. Love them. Shouldn't be hard to find. I got these from Ulta. So if you're interested. Next are some that I've worn already. They're also long by Kiss. Glam Fantasy Ultimate Illusion Nails. These were so gorgeous. I wore these as soon as I started feeling that those fall vibes. So pretty. These were the type of nail color that looks just perfect on my skin tone because it's like flesh tone for me. Uh, and so I could wear these to work for sure. I'd cut them down a tad or just change the shape. But that's the unique identifier right there for that set. Guys, this one was one of my favorites. Another one from Ardell. The Nail Attic line again. These are so pretty. Got these from Target. Kind of similar to the other set. And so you might be thinking, well, isn't that the same thing? It's not. So I'll show you guys side by side what they look like. So here they go. Very similar but different. These, you've got that chrome uh, look in this set. And over here, they're real, there's no chrome. you just got the gel look. Um, love These are, this shade here is deeper. This is more of a fuchsia type pink. Uh, I love them. You've got the marbling here in this set, but you do not have any marbling here. You've got some glitter, but you also have glitter here. So these, they're similar in tone, but they're definitely not the same set. All right, here goes another set that I can't wait to wear. Here goes that unique identifier up top. Uh, they're long. These are stunning. I would wear this particular shade to work. I would wear this, but I wouldn't wear all of them as a, you know, like mixing and matching, kind of like I have with my nails now. I wouldn't do this for work. But I would wear them, uh, except for this one here, I wouldn't wear that to work. But I would wear any of these, this, this glitter or this. And the reason why the glitter I think is more appropriate for, for a corporate environment is because once you put it on, it usually, unless you are just, you've got rhinestones and all that on there, it's usually pretty wearable. Um, they're not as in your face. It's something holographic or, you know, like this. So especially if you cut it down, like I'm working from home. So I'm taking advantage of that by um, wearing fun nails that I wouldn't be able to wear in fun lengths that I normally wouldn't be able to wear to work. Wore, this was my first set. This is the set that I wore when I like hauled my first, you know, after the first two that I hauled and gave to my daughter, I hauled another set um, and this was it. And I wore these. They're so beautiful. They're kind of periwinkle, actually. And I just love periwinkle. It's such a beautiful shade. Uh, shade. Here is another set from Claire's. These are so gorgeous. Also has that fun marble look with some pink. Another one from Claire's, and I think this is the last one that I have from them, is kind of what they call the 3D cat eye. It's a black press on with a little bit of glitter in it. You can see that here. It's pretty. And then you've got some holographic type. Uh, accent over here. These are really nice. I like them. They're going to be fun for the, um, you know, warm months. All right, guys. So these from Impress are my, like literally some of my absolute favorite. If I had to pick, if you had this, if you said go through all of them and you can only take one, I'm pick, I'm taking these. <laughs> these are gorgeous because I can wear them to work. I wish they didn't have all the rhinestoning on them, but there's enough of them in the back. Like, you know, when you take them out of the package that doesn't have rhinestoning on them and I would be able to wear them to work. I love the fact that uh, they're clear, like they're kind of have like this milky white finish and then there's some cute little fun rhinestoning on them. They're super, super glam and I love the length. So yeah, these are some of my freaking favorite. These are some that I would repurchase as soon as I get low. So yeah. Here goes another fun one that I could wear to work because I could leave the rhinestones off, like just not use the ones that have them on there. It's from Impress as well. These are so beautiful. These are stunning. They're just gonna be a very everyday friendly type uh, nail, press on nail. So, okay, it looks like these actually do have a name. Looks like they're called room service. So how about that? I like that. 
This one actually comes in a really large box. It's from Clutch Nails. I don't know why the box is so big, but the nails are gorgeous. And I have a set that is very similar to this that I'll show you guys from another company, but I just really like these. And I've been kind of hoarding them because this is a set I could totally wear to work and I wouldn't even have to cut them down or anything. Um, I wouldn't feel like that because I could type pretty fast in these and uh, I just think they're very neutral. So I like them a lot. These are called Sugar Baby. I love these. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple more that I got from Amazon. Uh, these are for your toenails, actually, and I wanted to try them. I saw this on Kiss's website and a few others, and I thought, really? Toenail press-ons, huh? But I haven't used them yet, obviously, but I will. I thought this was a fun set to try. I actually thought it was going to be a lot more muted than this, didn't realize it was going to be chromey. But we'll use them, especially now that I'm in the house. You know, it's no big deal. I'll just give them a shot and see how I like them. And next, we've got some also from Amazon, the beautiful nail line. Uh, these are in a pretty fun color these are some beautiful purple ones i would totally wear these would not feel like i need to cut them down i'd wear them to work they're just really fun and pretty i like them so these are fun i could totally pull these off for work because they just have just enough um simplicity to them and that little strip of accent here french tip type look would not make me feel uh self-cautious or anything like that these are beautiful. I love the finish. I'm actually looking forward to wearing these. If these work out, I'm actually going to purchase another set because this is something I could wear on a regular basis to work. I said I got them from Amazon. They come in a package like this. So pretty interesting. And they're called French Angle uh, Tapered. What does that say? Tapered what? I think it's supposed to say nail set. But that looks like an M to me. Y'all tell me what you say, what you think. But yeah, looks like they come from overseas somewhere. So that might be why there's a typo. Um, and then we've got another set here. These are the Pearl Shiny Gloss um, Press-Ons. These are also something that I could totally get away with for work. They kind of have a ombre look to them right down here. You see that? You can see where there's... A concentration of pearl finished but then up here it gets a little bit lighter i really like that it's really pretty neutral okay so here's a set that i uh also hauled when i hauled that periwinkle type set that i wore and these were fun these were super fun this is definitely something i'd have to wear when i'm not in the office these are fun these are from nail addict ardell again look how fun these are i would wear these but not to work um so I'm looking forward to wearing these soon uh, while I'm still ha I have the ability to work from home. The henna look, I think, is stunning. These are called Glass Deco. Yeah, they're gorgeous, guys. I wore these almost as soon as they came in the mail. These are from Kiss. Um, they're long. I wore them long, and I love them. They're matte finish, but they're so pretty. I really am attracted to the matte finishes, but they get scuffed really easily. So... That's kind of my the thing that I don't like about a matte finish, but these were gorgeous. The shade is so pretty. It's, to me, a all-around um, year color. You can wear it any time of the year. This one's called Ab Fab. And this is one I'd wear again. I could wear this to work. Just cut them down or change the shape so they're not so long uh, and a bit more on the professional side. These are very similar to the ones that I just showed you from Kiss. I'll put them side by side. See that there? But they're lighter. So they um, have a more neutral, even more neutral than the than the pink. So I could definitely get away with this. These, these are probably the newest to my collection. I just picked them up about a week or two back. They are stunning. Look at this. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> I cannot wait. For a finish or a set like this in the salon, you would pay some serious dollars like coins would be coming out of your pocket this a set like this at a salon is gonna run you not even exaggerating at least a hundred dollars because this is a lot of detailing this was maybe twelve dollars because this is one of their more pricier um sets because of all the you know detailing and the finishes and everything so I've got some here from Kiss. Also, some of my absolute favorite. I love these. I love the style. I don't have to, you know, cut them down or anything. 
I love the uh, rhinestone. It, I just, these, the color, like this beautiful blue is stunning. These are great. Also from the Kiss Master line. I'm telling you guys, this Kiss Master line is where it's at. Another Halloween set. So once the ones that I have on, the set I have on now, once it's time for me to change them out, I'm just going to go ahead and put these on. Kiss did a great job with these sets because you can wear them beyond um you know whatever they're made for so these are supposed to be halloween but they don't look halloweeny to me they just have those colors but yeah i love them so we made it through look guys look at all those it's not too too bad right it's not terrible but we're not quite done yet over here is where i stash what i call my jackie ina set this is not Jackie Anna's company. This is just a brand that she purchases from. And I went ahead and picked some stuff up from them for my birthday. It's called Instaglam by The Nailist. The Nailist is the company and Instaglam is kind of the brand, I guess. But they come in this really pretty box. She does a great job. Um, custom nails can be very pricey. Like these over here, these are from like Amazon, Target, Ulta. They run anywhere between five to, you know, 12 bucks. I haven't paid anything higher than that in the stores. But when you're talking um, something that someone has to make, that's going to be a little bit more expensive like it would be in the salon. So some of these, she actually had a sale during my birthday month. I was super excited because I actually got all of these for $61. And that's pretty good because... Like I said, these are custom. So she's making these herself. So let's look at the one in the larger box first. Um, what is the name of these? I don't know if the names are in here, but they come with this tissue paper on top. Not tissue paper. What is this? Like this, this foam on top, protective foam so that your nails don't get scratched. And it's beautifully presented in these boxes. Guys, This, these are stunning. I think these are the tanner shade or what they what she calls tanner. I'll put it in my description bar on all the ones that I bought. These are freaking gorgeous. I love the set. Like, this is something I could wear to work. I'd have to cut them down a bit um, just for continuity. I probably would just change the shade. I wouldn't even, or shape, excuse me. I'd do more of a stiletto type shape on these. These are so freaking hot, though. I can't wait to wear these. These are white. I got an all white set. These are good quality nails, so they should. you should be able to wear these for a week or two. Um, these are so pretty i love the look guys okay, so next are some of my favorite these are ombre so so fun definitely would wear these to work would not feel like i need to tr uh, trim them down or anything or change the shape for any reason these are gorgeous these are great everyday type um you know type colors and shades and even shape so i like it look at these they are so pretty i love that she kept the rhinestones to a minimum so i would wear this set to work how simple they are They've got just the right amount of character, and I love this peachy look. So here's a set that I'm really excited to wear for Christmas. And when I saw these, I was like, yeah, these are going to be fun. Uh, this is definitely, these gives me like holiday vibes big time. Like Thanksgiving and Christmas is when I'm going to whip these suckers out. <laughs> so these are so cute. Like, yes, so pretty. This is a stiletto shape. Like, look at that so gorgeous i love the shade this is something i could totally pull off for work i wouldn't feel like i need to cut them down any further because they're so um neutral so it wouldn't bring too much attention to my hand they're just so pretty and dainty i love them all right guys so i just took this opportunity to go ahead and reorg since i had pulled out all of them essentially i wanted to go ahead and just kind of reorganize everything and kind of just put them in groups uh based on um the company on who makes them so i just went ahead and put the custom ones back here the ones that were made by the nailist are here and then the large ones right under here these are the amazon ones um this is sugar baby by clutch and then we've got claire's the rest of the amazon ones are just over here i put these over here from amazon just because they're not in the same type packaging i could just fit them right here but i figured what the heck i might as well just leave that room leave the room over there and then just put these two right up here. Kiss, I'll show you just how many Kiss um, ones I have because Kiss is taking up this entire front row except for where my glasses are. So you've got it all right here. That's all Kiss. If I found somewhere for my glasses to go, which 
I'm thinking about moving, then I'll probably take these, what, three, two boxes right back here that are Kiss and move them over here. So we'll see what I decide to do. But we've got the ones from, like I said, Amazon right back here. These uh, are Impress, this one, and then there's some in the back by Impress. And then the rest of these are Ardell. So not too terrible of a collection. It's not so, so bad. Thank you guys again for your support and I'll see y'all later.